Donald Trump breaks the internet yet again with a hysterical new ad where he torches Kamala Harris. Y'all have got to check this out. Um, the Democrat Party. Remember Kamala Harris? Remember how she's supposed to be some type of DEI, intersectional feminist, everything mixed into one? And how great that is? And how she's going to bring such young, spirited, diverse energy to everything. Well, this is that Kamala Harris right now. This is a video that was uh, released just a few weeks ago uh, uh, from the actual from the actual accounts of the Biden campaign. Like, holy, holy Moses. What, uh, whoa, what happened? Like what, like, what happened? Jeez. U.S. under Trump, U.S. under Biden. <laughs> I mean, what's going on down here, exactly? Like, what is, what is, what is that going on? You know, you know? I, I don't even think it's the stresses of the office. Did you ever notice the people that are just nasty human beings, eventually, as they age, they just age horribly. And those people who are good-hearted, they're always doing the right thing by others, they'll age, but they age gracefully. Maybe it's the poison within their soul that they spread throughout the entire country. But whatever it is that makes them that way, I think it eventually catches up with them. And I think that's what's happening to her. Something's wrong. Kamala looks, Kamala looks seriously unwell. I wouldn't trust the geriatric demons in this administration. Uh, they'll throw her to the wolves. Yeah, this is, this is the video, man. Some would argue that the reason why Kamala Harris uh, looks so bad right now is because nothing good is happening in Kamala Harris's time as vice president. She's actually shockingly more unpopular than Joe Biden, which is crazy uh, to think because Joe Biden is the least the least popular person president to have ever uh, run for I'll tell you why that is. I'll tell you why Joe Biden is so wildly unpopular. Joe Biden's unpopular because most Americans think that he's a puppet. They think that he's controlled. They do not think he's his own entity. The people, the reason people hate Kamala Harris is because people think she's the most artificial, fake human being they have ever seen in their entire life. Have you ever heard her laugh, that cackle? That is the most forced thing I've ever heard in my entire life. And she's just a hypocrite. She's not a nice person. With all that being said, I really hope she's doing well. I hope she's healthy. She's not dealing with any illnesses because you don't want to wish bad upon anybody else. That'll only catch up to you. So I wish her health. I wish that she does a better job for our country. And I would never wish anything bad to ever happen to her. Joe Biden has a thir like mid 30% approval rating. But also, while Joe Biden is a protected entity and you're not allowed to make fun of him at all, Kamala Harris, you are allowed to make fun of. Even if it is uh, ever so light, uh, brushing ever so lightly, the Daily Show here did a full, like absolute blistering napalming of Kamala Harris in this skit about how dumb Kamala Harris is and how stupid she sounds in everything that she says. Look at this. This is all about the. the this is all about Kamala Harris and her adv her spiritual advisor. You're like, you're allowed to make fun of Kamala Harris. And a lot of people do it like directly to her face. This also from The Daily Show. Americans, words have many meanings. And sometimes instead of conveying our meaning, they can suggest other meanings. When we talk about the children of the community, they are a children of the community. Well, we are the United States of America because we are united. And we are states. Um, talking about the significance of the passage of time, <laughs> right? The significance of the passage of time. So when you think about it, there is great significance to the passage of time. Whatever <laughs> we have in store cannot be known. The past was once the future. The future is, I should say, unknown. We gotta take this stuff seriously, as seriously as you are, because you have been forced to have to take it seriously. Obesity is a serious disease, and it needs to be taken seriously. You need to get to go, and need to be able to get where you need to go to do the work and get home. I hope that clarifies the issue, and this can be the last word on those words. Certain issues are just settled. <laughs> Clearly we're not. 
No, that's right. And that's why I do believe that we are living, sadly, in um, real unsettled times. <laughs> She's not very intelligent. It's only a matter of time, ladies and gentlemen, until the Trump campaign uh, released their own ad targeting Kamala Harris. And I'm proud to uh, report to you that, that that day is today. This is what the Trump campaign came up with. Uh, wise words from Kamala. Talking about the significance of the passage of time. There is great significance to the passage of time in terms of what we need to do. And there is such great significance to the passage of time. So the importance of community banks is they are as they are called. They're in the community. People who understand the capacity of the community, the needs of the community, the culture of the community. It is time for us to do what we have been doing, and that time is every day. I can imagine what can be and be unburdened by what has been, you know? You know? <laughs> you no, know, this is it, w- it wouldn't be that bad. It wouldn't be that bad. But it's that she says it in such a way, she thinks she's the smartest person that's ever existed. It's the passage of time. You have to believe that the passage of time passages. It's the way she says it. It's her it's her tone of voice that makes it funny. I thought what was interesting though is they had Comedy Central with Julia Lewis Dreyfus making fun of Kamala Harris. I don't think you would ever get that with a previous president, not Donald Trump, the one before him. I don't think you would ever get Comedy Central making fun of him in that way. Yet they're doing it now with Kamala. It really makes you think. Legitimate Trump campaign ad, good for you. There's a uh, target-rich environment, you would call it. A target-rich environment. This is actually a series that the Trump campaign has created, and I, I think these are, I think these are really funny ads. I mean, I'm not sure they're going to move the needle much because everybody already hates Kamala Harris. And they already hate Joe Biden, uh, but I like the humor aspect of it, and also I like the fact that the Trump campaign is sort of like going directly at the Achilles' heel of the administration. We, we were told by people who work directly with the DNC that the thing they hate the very most is when people make fun of Kamala Harris or Joe Biden's mental acuity and uh, capacity and call them stupid and say they're dumb and say that they're like collapsing and, and falling to pieces. Like, they, like this, is, this is hitting directly at the thing that they are scared the most of, which is people knowing that there's nobody really in control. That the inmates have taken over the asylum, right? And so this is why I like that this is a series, okay? Like, like this is the one that the Trump campaign made about Joe Biden. We hold these truths to be self-evident. All men and women created by this. Go, you know, the, you know the thing. America is a nation that can be defined in a single word. I was in the foot, him, uh, foot, foot <laughs> excuse me, foothills of the Himalayas with Xi Jinping. She knows so long as she knows so long as I see <laughs> Our freedom can never be secured. We'll never forget lying around and him, how he, and us, him, him lying around, actually. <laughs> I'll lead an effective strategy to mobilize true international effort to pressure. That the percentage of women who register to vote and cast a ballot is consistently higher than the percentage of the men who do so. End of quote. Repeat the line. End of quote. Repeat the line. It makes you wonder, uh, if the Founding Fathers were in a time machine and they got brought to today's time, what would they think of Joe Biden? Would they be thinking, what a wise man, I understand why you put this man in the Oval Office. Or would they be thinking, what the heck happened? What did we do wrong? Is there anything that they could have done then to prevent him being in power now? I honestly think that's what they'd be thinking. Where did we go wrong? The mansion of Joe Biden. Madam Vice President. Come on, Charlemagne. I really. Come on. I, it's Joe Biden. I can't no, tell no, no, sometimes. No, 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 no. It's Joe Biden. It's Joe Biden. And don't start talking like a Republican about asking whether or not he's president. Do, it's Joe Biden. Do you think Joe Manchin and, is and a problem? It's Joe, and it's Joe Biden. And it's Joe Biden. And I'm Vice President. And my name is Kamala Harris. <laughs> Plain and simple, they are terrified of anyone questioning the power that rules over the American people because they realize each and every day more and more Americans are waking up what this administration is and what it is is corrupt and they are not acting in the American people's best interest. They are screwing them over 
each and every day. People are noticing it in every single way, whether they're going to the gas station, whether they're going to the grocery store, whether they're realizing their dollar isn't worth what it once was, whether they're seeing the international conflicts going on around the world. People are realizing all the issues with this administration. That's the one thing they're terrified of, people waking up. Because for far too long, most Americans were dead asleep. They had no idea what was going on in Washington. But Trump was the one catalyst that woke people up. But let me know your thoughts on this down below. Do you think Joe Biden is actually in charge? Number one. And number two, who do you prefer out of the two? If you had to pick one to be the president, would you rather Joe Biden or Kamala Harris? And yeah, if you guys enjoyed this, make sure to smash a like, comment, subscribe. And I wish you guys nothing but the best. Till next time.